What does Tom mean to you? Oh, Tom. Tom, <laughs> Tom is a really, really close friend of mine. Tom is like another big brother to me, sometimes a mom. And he's really important to me because, and important to everyone, because he's always building our confidence. My relationship with Tom, it's incredibly important to me. Um, he is by far one of my best friends. Um, more than my best friend, he's my brother. He's my family. I, I've always wanted a brother. I always joked when I was a kid, you know, mom, dad, I want a brother. Well, I got one. You know, I, I, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. My name is Tom Russo. I am from Millstone Township, New Jersey. Um, I am a music education major here at Montclair State University, uh, class of 2016. Um, and I own a photography business. I knew I've always wanted to do photography ever since I was a sophomore in college. Um, it kind of set stone. When I came to college, I wanted to be a music major. And then um, I just started doing it. And I got the camera. And when I dropped my education certification here at Montclair, I, that really solidified it for me. I was kind of like, okay, this is what I want to do as a career. This is what I'm good at. So why, why not pursue the career that I'm good at? Uh, yeah, I'm good at teaching. And it was, it was, it's fun while it lasted. but. I'm not meant to be a teacher, I'm meant to be a photographer. My skills are too good, my portfolio is too well put together at this point in my life to not pursue it and try to get a job in it. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, I'll go back for my teaching certification and, and do that. But probably I'd say the so my sophomore year of college and then it was solidified junior into senior year. My first camera was a, I believe it was a Nikon one of those little like snapshot cameras, the little point and shoots. It was black, I'll never forget. It was black and silver, and uh, it was a piece of shit. Um, but it, it got the job done. Um, so that was probably like when I was around 12. Um, and then every, just as the years went on, I would ask for cameras for Christmas, and that's how I always get cameras. And I always used to love taking photos with the little point and shoots. I'd try to get the different angles and try to be artistic, and it would never work. My dad, uh, when I started out, he was kind of against the whole thing because he was all of me about becoming a teacher and just having a career in the teaching field because that's what I wanted to do. And he was all against it. And then uh, my mom's always been supportive of me. Supportive of me. Um, she always strived for me to do better and get better. And then over the years, I, my photography business has just grown so much that my dad started getting comfortable with it. And now it's all he talks about. It's like, oh, Tom, photos this weekend? It's all he talks about. Tom Russo Photography started when I pretty much when I started shooting for the ambassador program, um, I, that's where everything really started, even college. Um, I started shooting for them for their open houses and their accepted students days. And my friend Dan, um, who's still an ambassador now, um, he helped me develop my, lo my very, very, very first logo. Um, it was an anagram and it was TRJ Photography. That's where it started. Uh, I'll never forget it was red, had three letters and photographers underneath it. And then um, I tried thinking of other names for it and a lot of times photographers will just be like Tom Russo Photography or their name and the word photography or it'll be their initials and film or a photo or something like that. So I stuck with my name because I feel like it's my name and I was the one who started the company. I've always thought about changing it to something like that's more generic but people know me as Tom Russo Photography and they joke about it and stuff like that. It's like my nickname here and there. I've been on several shoots with Tom. We've done so many. We've done um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show together. And actually, believe it or not, Tom has taken one of my favorite pictures of myself. And that's like toot my own horn. Um, but he did take one of my favorite pictures when I was involved with the production. Tom's photography business has expanded a lot in the time that I've known him. And I've already known him for like a, a year now. And it started out from what I've seen with a lot of the player shows. And then he began advertising it more. And now he would go to a lot of events, he'd work at weddings, he um, scheduled headshots for a lot of people, and his work is becoming very well known. He did a photo shoot with um, um, one of our friends, uh, Maddie Glassman, that got a lot of like hype because it looked really good. And after that, people were coming up to friends of ours saying, um, do you know Tom? Can we hear about his photography business? Because his headshots look amazing. And it's building, like, I don't think this is something that's gonna take a long time because he's working so hard for it in the time that he's had now, and it, it's expanding. Honestly, 
I really do think that this entire experience has opened my eyes to something new. You know, I've, I've loved taking pictures ever since I was a kid, but I never really like wanted to pursue that. Um, but I think because of Tom and just because of like, I've always wanted to take pictures, I realized that maybe like photography is for me. Maybe I could have it as a, like a side thing because although I'm a television production major, it's good to have another portfolio where you have still work and where you have different types of different pictures or different videos. And I just think that with this whole experience and me meeting Tom, it wouldn't have opened my eyes to several different things. With my love of theater, with my love of um, photography now, with um, my love of doing like hair and makeup too. Like Tom has opened my eyes to different experiences and honestly, I cannot be more thankful for it. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life, honestly, doing photography of any, in any way, shape, or form. Um, even if it's working for corporate or for doing the freelancing, um, it, it's just, it's what I love to do. And, you know, they say that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I'm hoping to just get, you know, connections and, and I'd love to travel the world and be able to get flown out to a country for a model photo shoot one day and that'd be awesome. Um, but this is where I'm starting and I hope to expand from there.